guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i have a wax haul to share with you guys this is a vintage chic sense mystery box that is it's a mystery completely i purchased all these items on the etsy site for vintage chic sense and i'm super excited because i love a mystery i love being surprised and who doesn't love wax <laughs> so this is the mystery bag so it's here on my lap right here i am with the sun in front of me so you're gonna get some shadowing but that's just what we're gonna have to play with first off if you're new to my channel welcome or welcome back if you are a regular thank you so much for joining us today i do lots of different videos whether it's haul videos for skims lululemon sephora we got wax hauls. I also love fragrance. And when I get back into my home and actually get to open my boxes up again, been like th three, four months now, I can actually talk more about fragrance as well. So if you like any of those types of videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. That would be amazing. I really, really appreciate it. And if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. With that said, guys, we're going to talk about wax today. So today it is all about Vintage Chic Scents. And as I mentioned already, it is an, a wax haul. It is a mystery bag. So it could be a little bit of anything. With mystery bags, I feel like you just have to go with the flow and be open to all different types of scents. There's only a few scents that I don't like very much. <laughs> and I'm actually very happy to announce that there is not one thing in here that I don't enjoy. First off, with this order, I did receive a sample. Now, I don't know which video is going up next. I have another video I wanna share with you that I got at the same time as this. So I, only, I received one sample for the whole order. This one here is a sample size in Martha and Snoop's Halloween Party. This is described as caramel apples, zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and brown sugar. So this little sample here is a good size. I like to cut this one in half and half go in each of the main warmers in the home. So first off here, I have a nice little tile pack. This is Susie Poo and Dusty Bun. I'm not exactly sure. I know they're themed. I don't know everybody that this they're talking about with this. It's obviously a theme of a movie, likely. This is described as the sweet blend of Peeps, sweet bakery dough, birthday cake, and gooey marshmallows. It's as sweet as Susie and Dusty's love. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? These squares here I do cut in half, and again, I put half in each one of my main warmers in the living rooms or like the main part of the house because of the scent notes. I'll tell you as we go on which ones I would put where, but this one definitely be in the main area in the house. Then we have one of those fortune teller bars. They're huge, huge bars. This is in the scent Billy Bossa Nova's Lemon Sugar Bundt Cake. Say that five times fast. Described as gooey marshmallows, lemon sugar bundt cake, rich vanilla cupcakes, yellow cake, and rich sugar cookies. Oh, this one smells so good. I forgot to smell the first one, which we'll come back to. This one smells really good. It's not something I would repurchase on cold, off of the cold snip. It is just a lot of lemony bundt cake, which is lovely. I love a lemon bundt cake, but that's fairly common. I'm not gonna, I'm just saying that this isn't like a, a scent that I know that I can only get here or very few places. And I would probably put this throughout the living room and the kitchen, because I love lemon, even bakery scents, but lemon in the kitchen as well. So that one again was Billy Bossa Nova's Lemon Sugar Bun Cake. I forgot to sniff this first one, the Susie Poo and Dusty Bun. Again, I don't know where that's from, but I'm sure you can tell me. Oh, that's it, this one's really, really nice. This is definitely sweet bakery. So I would, again, as I mentioned earlier, I would definitely melt this one, cut it in half, melt it in the main warmers in the living room. Then we have a really large hunk and it looks like a cauldron with some hands on it, which is pretty cool. We Go Together is the name of it. And it is ripe strawberries and juicy mango blended with sweet coconut cream. Not sure if I got this in that grease uh, order I did not long ago. I'll try to remember to post that up here. It's okay. I think the coconut, Sweet coconut cream is throwing me off. I love I love all of them. Ripe strawberries, juicy mangoes. The sweet coconut cream is a little bit interesting. So this is definitely a scent I would be waiting to melt anyway until summer. It's quite a large size. Um, so again, I would probably actually cut this up into quarters and use this in the main part of the room, but probably not till summer because of the scents. I am more of a seasonal melter. From time to time, I pull different things out, some summer scents in, in the winter, but usually I like to, I'm very organized, like structured that way, I guess is the better word, structured, and I do like my seasonal scents at the appropriate seasonal times. This one is good, but I will definitely have to give it a go 
in the summer months. I'm excited about this next one. This one's Hopper's Morning Routine. Remember mornings are for coffee and contemplation, so indulge in glazed donuts drizzled with caramel sauce with a steaming cup of black coffee, just like Detective Harper. So these are really great shapes. They're shaped for summer. A lot of these, they're also tagged for when they were made. So I think the earliest ones were May and they go um, as, as late as September's pours of this year. So this one's July 1st, 2022. So like I said, they're kind of all over the board. This one I'm excited for because it's coffee. You guys know how much I love coffee. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. These are also the perfect little sizes to just take one and put it in a hot plate in the living room on a weekend or a day off, coffee time, all that fun stuff. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to. Of all the ones I've smelt so far, this is my favorite. Next up, we have the Adams Family Zucchini. This is dried apple peels, all spice, fresh clove buds, and zucchini bread in this little boo shape. It's a little, it's like a little triangle, but it is a ghost. This is nice. I'm, I think it's the allspice. I like it. I, it's gonna be interesting to try it when it's melted. The allspice definitely alters the scent a little bit from what we know if you are purchasing wax from vendors. Um, allspice doesn't get used a lot, but it should, especially for the fall and the winter. So I'm actually probably going to pop this one, cut this into like quarters, I would think, because for me, DCS does throw fairly well. And this was from August 23rd. This actually poured on my birthday. I will definitely put this throughout the house, the main portion of the home. It's the zucchini bread, anything bakery like that. It's perfect. Next up, we have these cute little ice cream scoops. And vendors started doing these like little wax scoop looking things a while ago. And I really appreciate it because they're a one stop plop. Like you take one of these, put them inside your warmer and you're good to go. This one is in Martha's Lavender Vanilla Milkshake, described as homemade sweet lavender honey ice cream milkshakes. If you're new to this channel, anything with lavender, I melt in the bedrooms exclusively. I find lavender very relaxing. I feel like the perfect place to melt lavender is the bedroom. This is really good, but the honey, the honey ice cream, you guys, I'm not a big fan of honey and it really has to me mesh well. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not, I don't hate on it, but it's not like my favorite. It's that little honey note that just gives it a little bit more of a pow in your face. Again, we will test this out to see how it does in the warmers in the bedroom. Then we have two doors down, which is described as blushing peaches, mango sorbet, and ginger ale. Now all of that screams summer to me. Again, these are just similar to other, like they're little shapes of like unicorn. I think they're all unicorns actually. And I will use this one in the summer as well because of the scent notes. Again, this one's April 21st. So I guess some of them are from April rather than May. Oh, this smells so good. This is summertime, beautiful, sparkling drink. Like it smells like a peachy mango drink with like, well, maybe champagne, but it could be also ginger ale. <laughs> Love this one. Really looking forward to it. It's going to just it's gonna marinate until summertime now, which means it's gonna do even better. And last but not least for this particular haul is Robin's Emotional Support Himbo. Again, I'm not really familiar with which launch this came out with, which collection. Normally it's it movie themed or that kind of thing. This is described as Skittles, Sweet Tarts, Grape Airheads, and Fizzy Pop. I love it because I don't get too much grape. I feel that I get Skittles, Sweet Tarts, and Fizzy Pop. Now the grape airheads, I think is in there and may come out a little bit more, but I like grape scents, but I really love this one because it has all the other things jacked up. This one's really, really good. Again, this is gonna be a scent that I kind of cut probably into quarters and because of scent notes, it will be a summertime melt. This one was July 1st, it was poured on July 1st. So you guys, that is everything. This was the mystery bag that I ordered. I highly recommend if you are just starting out in wax and you just don't know what you like, Mystery bags are great because they get a little bit of everything as you saw here. We got coffee, we got ginger ale, we got pound cake, we got lemon, we got a little bit of everything. So it kind of gets you started with your collection so you can also figure out what you like. So mystery bags are great. And that is everything you guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. Like I mentioned earlier, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And that is everything. As always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.